Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Like I try to allude in most of my other videos, we live in a world of mass deception. In order for a new world order to be implemented, amongst many other factors, evil must be seen as good. Remember, wicked is good. Darkness must be seen as light, just like Rihanna sang in her song Disturbia. The best way of promoting this seems to be through film. From The Sopranos creating empathy for a psychopathic mass murderer, Breaking Bad making us root for a mass creator of meth who was willing to kill anybody who got in his way, or even today we have a television show about Lucifer which actually makes him into a cop trying to be good and fight crime. Film seems to be a great tool of the enemy to bring about change in the hearts and minds of men and women around the world. Some of it is very easy to see, and others, not so much. Particularly if when you are watching, you're used to just turning off your brain and not analyzing what you're seeing and what the creators are trying to convey. Just putting it off as, you know, entertainment. The movie Black Panther is not of exception and is a massive tool against the black community. The black community feels it's finally being represented in Hollywood. Hollywood being a group in this country that has historically underrepresented our culture or only emphasized the negative. With the cast being predominantly black, Hollywood has never made a major film for the masses in this way before. Most would like to see it as progress, and because of this desire, our brains are turned off to what is being promoted. The black community has gone in great numbers to view this film wearing African garments, referring to Wakanda as if it is an actual representation of us. It first needs to be understood that Black Panther is not a black movie. It was not funded nor produced by the black community. Though it was written and directed by Ryan Coogler, a black man, and the cast was majority black, it was funded and produced by the Marvel Corporation, which is owned and run by Walt Disney Corporation. This is a Disney film, and the board members and executive level management of Disney are not black. This is a company that has funded a massive amount of witchcraft and deception throughout the world for decades. They have always had other motives that are more of a priority than promoting the black community with strength, dignity, and unity. So everyone that believes that Black Panther is something done to bring unity and strength in the black community are deceived. It's the same deception that allowed us to think that this nation would allow there to be a black president that was not controlled by the same elite that built and to this day controls this country. Most believe these lies because they do not either know about the inner workings of most things, or they just choose to be ignorant and take things at just face value. Black Panther is not a black movie. It is a movie created by elite corporation, mostly run by white people, who have casted black people to represent what they want us to see. They have never just funded movies that do not promote their agenda, and Black Panther is not the exception. So if you understand this, you should then try to examine what are they trying to tell us? Now a problem with entertainment, particularly when it's good and well-funded, is that they can trap you in with tons of graphics and special effects, a lot of good action scenes, a good storyline, and very good actors and actresses that keep you mesmerized, not allowing you to properly dissect what you're watching. If you do not train yourself to watch things, to not be just entertained, but to see what the director is trying to convey, you will always be deceived and you will always be just a pawn in their grand scheme. The first part is simple, the African culture, black Americans. If you pay close attention to what I say, please note I have never said African American. Black Americans do not share the culture that is promoted in this film. Africa is a continent, not a nation. Not all culture in Africa is the same. It's like saying Mexicans have the same culture as Canadians because they're from the same continent. Ryan Coogler, writer and director of the movie said, and I quote, we were making a film about what it means to be African. When Ryan Coogler looked for inspiration for this film, he went to South Africa. The descendants of black America are not said to be descendants of South Africa. So why are we trying so hard to identify with their culture? Because most of the black community has not been to Africa, it's very easy for Hollywood and the elites to create the depiction of the African culture that we're supposed to get accustomed to. So for the majority, it's either the culture of South Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, or it's Egypt. Mind you, that none of those countries claim us as their kin, 
nor do their people tell stories about how a majority of their people were stolen from their land over 500 years ago. This is just a promotion of false culture that deceives us and keeps us from understanding our true heritage. The only fact that the black community knows for sure is that our history and knowledge of where we come from was taken from us. When we blindly grab on the culture that we do not know if we're actually descendants of, we can become dangerously deceived and practice rituals and customs that are to our detriment. What if none of the culture that we are claiming to be a part of has anything to do with our true culture? Now, I know that Black Panther is nowhere close to the first perpetrators of this lie, but based on how the Black community is acting, literally wearing dashikis to a movie premiere because it's about a Black nation in Africa, just highlights just how mind controlled we are and desperate for an identity that we follow anyone or anything that seems to give us power and identity. Now, the reason I had to address this first is because of the bigger part of the problem with the movie and the acceptance of a lot of African culture. Away from the action and special effects in the movie, there was a big promotion of the culture of the Wakandans. This is one of the main undertones of the movie that must be understood. Remember, Kugler said they were making a film about what it means to be African. A big part of some African culture consists of paganism, the worship of many gods, and witchcraft. This was not ignored in this movie, but highlighted and emphasized. A majority of the first hour of the movie was surrounded by Wakandan culture. It displayed the practices of juju, which is simply a spiritual belief system incorporating objects such as amulets and spells used in religious practice as part of witchcraft in West Africa. This was done specifically when the king becomes Black Panther. There was ancestral worship, like when the king's mother, Ramonda, played by Angela Bassett, called upon the ancestors for their help bringing back her son. I call upon the ancestors. I call upon first. I'm here with my son, T'Challa. Heal him. She even says she communed with her dead husband often. Your father and I will talk about this day all the time. This is a known form of witchcraft in which many cultures, not just African, partake in. There's the animal and shape-shifting spirits that is the main part of the movie. Anytime time the king transformed into the Black Panther, he would shape-shift into the panther. This again is a form of witchcraft. And there was also the necromancy, which is the practice of communicating with the dead, especially in order to predict the future. The Black Panther did this multiple times was speaking to his dead father about how he would rule as king and what he should do. The time has come for you to come home and be reunited with me. You were wrong to abandon me. I chose my people. I cannot stay here with you. I cannot rest while he sits on the throne. He is a monster of our own making. I must take the mantle back. I must. I must right these wrongs. All these practices are specifically expressed against in scripture. And when they are done by his children, it provokes the Lord to anger. This is specifically stated in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 9 through 11. And in 2 Chronicles chapter 33, when speaking about Manasseh. These practices are all a form of witchcraft. When the Black Panther position is challenged, he drinks something that can be compared to blood that removes the power of the Black Panther. When he becomes the Black Panther, he's actually being possessed by the Black Panther spirit, which to them is a gift. If you just do some basic research on Marvel Wiki, it gives background on everything Marvel. It brings clarity on the Black Panther. The potion that the Black Panther drinks to get the Black Panther power, the one Eric Killmonger, played by Michael B. Jordan, ordered to be burned, was called the heart-shaped herb. And according to Marvel, it was a gift from the panther god, the deity they worshipped. What they don't say in the movie is that the Black Panther, King T'Challa, is actually the leader of the Black Panther cult. The Black Panther cult is the actual religion of the Wakandans. The Wakandans have ties to the ancient gods of Africa that were also worshipped in Egypt. They were claimed to be ancient beings who visited the earth millennia ago very similar to what we know today as the Anunnaki. This is always the lie that is told, because it always go back to Baal or Satan worship. 
This movie is full of witchcraft practices. It is a ploy of using the black community's desire for a represented culture to push them into acceptance of black magic and witchcraft. Pushing the lie that these practices are from our heritage and witchcraft should be accepted as normal. So we are now in a time where people are denouncing the Bible and belief in Christ and are doing the things that are explicitly spoken against. They are promoting darkness as light and the masses, particularly Christians, are accepting it because so many are desperate to claim a culture. They take on rituals and culture that is actually demonic and satanic, but ignore it because it's put under the general label of African. They replace the God we serve through the mass marketing of a film that they have presented to us as a gift to bring out black strength, representation, and unity. It's ridiculous. The last undertone that they show in this film is black people fighting other black people. All for their ideology and beliefs, they are fighting each other. Michael B. Jordan wanted to punish the oppressors of the world through war and strength because, as we all know, blacks around the world, particularly in the United States, have been oppressed. And Chadwick Boseman's character only wanted to fight if necessary to protect his people. There are people in the middle on both sides, and this created a war. And these people of the same blood and culture wound up fighting and going to war with each other. And while this was going on, a white man, one who would be labeled as an oppressor, they referred to him as colonizer. Don't scare me like that, colonizer. My name is Everett. While they went to war amongst themselves, he fought on the side against taking down the oppressors and saved the day with his bravery, stopping the weapons from leaving Wakanda. This was mass manipulation and conditioning, showing that it was okay for blacks to fight blacks that don't have the same ideology. The real oppressors and enemies were nowhere to be seen in this movie, but our own people became an enemy depending on what side they chose. This supposedly black movie showed black people going to war with black people while also taking part in black magic and witchcraft. <laughs> you should understand why it's a movie breaking tons of records. This was not by accident. The real creators of this movie have presented us again with another Trojan horse in our minds. The majority of the black community that loved and praised this movie are openly supporting black magic and witchcraft and war with their neighbor because of a different ideology. The worst part is that many of them are self-proclaimed Christians, which will continue to draw people away from the Lord. This is dangerous, and I'm afraid for my people. The only thing we can do is promote Jesus Christ and what he believes and says about all things. We must expose darkness at every turn and be bold to speak against the things that Satan is massively promoting as good. If we read the word of God, we know that these things would happen before the Lord comes. It's just so very hard to watch it in real time. To see our people deceived and under such deep mind control is very troubling. Particularly our kids that lack education on all different practices of a witchcraft or even what God's word says, but love to be thoroughly entertained. They will accept anything if it is promoted to them right, accepting darkness as light. If you're not able to use discernment, please stay away from all entertainment of today. The people that make this entertainment are smarter than you and are not playing fair. You put your soul at risk. The movie The Black Panther is a very well-made movie with very skilled actors and actresses. The stars of this film all boast a very good resume like Angela Bassett and Forrest Whitaker. The special effects are phenomenal. Never before have they portrayed black people as kings and queens in power like this, with such a large budget and worldwide distribution. I know it's great to see our people portrayed in power because it's something we are not used to, but there is something bigger at play. They are using our insecurities and desperation for acceptance against us. Don't fall for it. Spread this video and let's start the conversation. Make the Lord's word the final say and do what he says. Surrender to Jesus Christ and be ready for him at all times. I love you all.